As you have seen in the montage, we are going to make the exact same transition using Adobe Premiere Pro and it's very simple, right? So if I show you, here is the montage that I have already worked on. If I just play it back. It's looking pretty cool, right? So we are going to make it from the scratch. So first here, if I show you the clips. You can notice one thing that is the direction of the subject is the same across the clips right so i'm working from the right to left side of my screen so whenever you are doing this kind of transition you need to make sure that you are using some clips that has the exact same direction no matter which direction the subject is moving make sure all the direction are the same right so first let's make a transition for one clip then we can just copy and paste the transition to the another clips so go to effects panel and from here you can just search for transform click and drag this transform effect here on top of your video clip if you release it then you can change the parameter of transform effect from the effects control panel if you don't see then go to window and from here enable effects control panel then this panel will appear and here at the bottom you'll see the transform effect have been applied now we need to make the changes so um, if i show you the video here you can see it's coming from the left side and then it's going to the right side right so we are going to make the exact same transition so first go here and add a keyframe at the beginning of the clip for the position and then change the position maybe here so that the subject is barely out of the screen just like that and then here i can add another keyframe and there i'll do the opposite thing right so if i just click and drag it i can make the subject here at the right side of my screen now what you need to do go to the transform effect and click on this arrow beside the position and then select the keyframe then click and drag to make a curve just like that select this one and then click and drag and make a curve just like that now you can click and drag it at the end of your clip so now if i play it back the clip is coming and then going so at the middle we need to make a place where we can see the subject properly right so where the subject will land so here we'll add another keyframe and change the position or this one and make the subject centered so we'll just position our subject here now if i play it back so we already got our transition now you can just click transform and then you can right click and copy or press ctrl or command on your keyboard to copy the effect and then go here to the second clip and then ctrl p to paste the effect here you'll see the effect have been pasted but we cannot see the last keyframe so click and drag it here to the second track and extend the clip a little bit so that we can see the keyframe properly so here we want to end the clip we can click and drag the last keyframe here and adjust the middle keyframe accordingly now let place it here again so for the mid keyframe i will adjust the position again so for this clip i will position my subject at the middle of my frame again if i play it back so just like that we need to copy and paste this effect to all of my clips i'll just fast forward this section so it's complete now if i play it back and show you the result this is the result so it's pretty easy right 
you can make this viral transition using Adobe Premiere Pro. You don't need to use CapCut. But one thing you should note that you can do this kind of effect using any kind of video editing program, no matter which program you use. If you know how to do speed ramp, then it's a fairly easy job then it's a fairly easy job so that is all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you're new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye